Yo, YouTube, what's good, man? You know it's your boy Rich checking in, man. We got a little bit of rain today. Uh, but I did make some good progress today. Uh, I actually um, ran out. Just got some little stuff to, you know what I'm saying, like tidy up, tidy up some stuff. Um, got some more Permatex lube so that way when I drop these... Uh, a lot of people say it don't matter, but I want to be safe and sorry. So I'm going to take this Permatex lube. I'm going to um, drop a little bit down on the top of the lifters before I drop the rods in. Uh, I'm going to drop a little bit on top of the rods before I set the rocker arms on them and drop some on top of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the springs, the valves, anyway, it, so on and so on. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, got some uh, Ultra Slick, um, the Permatex Lube, the good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, uh, if you've been following me, you know I got the cam in, uh, got the water pump, all that stuff on, got the pickup tube on, uh, got the, the front cover torqued in, um, still got to torque the back cover in, but that's the only thing. Um, not trying to be cheap. I got some black spray paint. Reason why I got the black spray paint, we're gonna, me and Toot was gonna get out there and we was gonna take the transmission out of the truck, wash it up. But uh, first of all, uh, my sister came by, needed some work done to her car. So I actually worked on uh, her car, got her right, you know what I'm saying, back on the road. Um, never seen a smile so big, you know what I'm saying, what that's saying. A lot of love. Um, for family just believing in me and you know what i'm saying I, I i just like to even if it wasn't family i just like to help people save money so yeah man got that black spray paint so when we start cleaning the transmission up um also got some brake fluid someplace around here and some other cleaner so we're gonna scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub get that thing straight painted black it's gonna be up under the car we just want it to look nice so i didn't go for anything high dollar i think this was about three dollars four dollars or whatever from um the local advance so got that, uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh yeah, uh, I ain't did no review on the first one, but um, turn this thing around. Y'all know how much I love Harbor Freight. And I went back, got the 20 volt, is it Bauer? Bauer, uh, little impact, it says, uh, where, 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 where is it? Where, where is it? The little three eighth compact impact, and it says three hundred and twenty five foot pounds. Uh, bolt breakaway torque. Um, this thing did not come with the battery. I already know that. I knew what I was getting into. But the good side of it was, um, what I do is I not only watch for what's going on online, as you can see. When they send me these catalogs, man, I stay on top of them. I actually go through them, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know what I'm saying, a, a mechanic that run a major shop. So I will tell you. And it's all on how you treat your stuff anyway. So, I mean, to each his own, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, but when they send these books right here, man, I tell you, I'm, I'm on it. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to see what they got and uh, some stuff. You know, I may not need at the time, but I know later on in the future, I will need. If it's on sale, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Uh, this, the, the, um, what is it? The 3660 and 120, I think it is, saying this to go on the um, grind. I got some of those, man, because I know I'm going to be busting down that top in a few. So, um, yeah, but enough of that, man. Uh, another thing that I did get today. While I had a little pick and pull adventure and, and believe it or not, like my sister went on me with her first pick and pull adventure. And I ain't gonna lie, like my sister no more than a lot of dudes when it comes to working on cars. And I was like, I, I ain't gonna say I was surprised because um, pretty much everybody in my family, I guess because of my dad and us coming up with cars and stuff like that is mechanically inclined in some way. Uh, some just choose not to work on their own stuff, but yeah, she we went on a little pick and pull adventure and we had to grab up some parts for her. So while we was grabbing up parts for her, <sighs> I 
of course, you know, the, uh, I'm doing the LS bill. And um, I saw these fans right here already out. And they was out of a vehicle that I know the fans on this vehicle actually has a uh, good uh, CFM. Now, did I try the fans while I was there? No, because it was already 445, something like that. So I, I, I picked the fans up, um, actually got the wires away, uh, got the plugs, as you can see. Or cannot see, but uh, yeah, got the plug to these thing, and I. Matter of fact, let me let me let me turn the camera around so you can see what's going on. Okay, yeah, so got the plugs to these things, um, and it's crazy because you're looking at them, you could kind of tell this was not my work. The reason being is because look at how short that one is. Look at how long this one is. So, um, yeah. Uh, I wasn't actually going to... I was actually going to order some fans, to be honest with you. But, you know, I just keep it real. When I saw these fans right here and I saw the way the mount was set up. When I turned this thing around, as you can see. Or can't see again. I'm going to lay them down for you. You see how the housing is on this right here where the fans are actually enclosed. Um, I know my car, um, I know, uh, the type of build that I'm going for. So, um, I know this right here would actually be the, my go-to. And another thing was, I like the way they still had the sit down. So, you know, I'll, I'll get some, or make some little rubber grommets. Or whenever I'm doing the bill, I see what I got going on with that. Anyway, we go to this thing. My light is on on my jump box. You turn that off for a second. And turn it back around to the back. Y'all got to excuse this stuff I got laying around in here. Um, it still had the pieces on the side for the bolt ups. If... I even use those. We're just gonna see once we sit everything down in the car. Um, one of the things I did like most of all was the fact of how thin they were, the clearance from front to back. So um, that for me was a big plus on that. And instead of something being big and bulky, they were actually a nice size. So, and you can see my hand, if I turn it sideways, my hand is pretty big though, but yeah. Uh, you know, if you can kind of tell that they're a nice little size or whatnot. So, yeah, that works out for me. Now, the thing is, I want to throw some power to these things, man, and see if they actually work. So, with that being said, man, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put y'all on pause for a minute. And I'm actually going to bust these wires right here down, bring them back just a little bit, and see if we can get some power to the fans to see if they work so y'all stay tuned while i do that okay so with that being said um i wanted to make sure my jump box was just a little low you can see it's charging up now so we, we're getting a constant 12 volts because it's plugged up that's still gonna give us 12 volts regardless I got it plugged up right here in my office. Uh, as you can see right here, got my ground wires together. Now, what I did, so y'all can understand this right here, I look at my plug and I, I just thought about the way it is plugged in. And I just did left side with left side, right side. With right side, because you know that is they should be pretty much the same fan, being that they dual fans. So uh, I put my hot there on this side and my ground there. Um, let's see. Hopefully, what we should be doing is we want to we want these fans to actually let's see. We want to cool this thing off, so we want the air to go that away 
So we want to be sucking air in. Um, I think so. I don't know. We'll see. We just want to make sure these things work for now, though. So what I'm actually going to do is let me see something here. Does that work? Yeah, that does work just a little bit, but it's a little too dark for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold the camera back just a little. And hopefully, if these things do work, they don't actually turn up too high and too hard or whatever. Um, I might need to get my little assistant. Come in for a second, too, if you could. Just for a quick little second here. And just, if you could for me. Just put your hand right here. Watch your foot. Just in case these things right here go to turn. And so come back behind. Come back here where I'm at. Yep. All right. You just want to make sure this right here, the whole bracket thing doesn't move while I turn the switch on because we want to make sure these fans work. Because um, these are the fans we got going inside the box, Chevy, just in case I'm updating you. You know what I'm saying? So you'll be on the same page with me because I know you had the headsets on. Anyway, but. Yeah, back to this right here. So what I'm going to do is I have an on and off switch on my box that will let me allow me to shoot the 12 volts out um, to these right here. And I actually use this right here for a tester for a whole lot of things when I'm doing my wiring um, for my uh, actual, when I was doing my pin out and all that other good stuff. But anyway, uh, we're going to get back to this whole fan video right here because I'm ready to see if these things going to fire up right here. Uh one, two, three. Let's see. Okay. That's 12 volts. I don't think we're going to have no problem. We can't stand 12 volts. And that's both fans going. What you think about that, Toot? Toot like that. He's smiling, so I'm going to let him get back to his uh, game. Good deal. All right, so as y'all see, I just try to keep y'all updated, man, and I'll be honest with you, man. That was about, what, $25, I think, at Pick and Pull, if that. I think it was I think it was twenty five dollars at pick and pull. Got lucky because, like I said, I just picked them up off of a car that I knew these fans just from doing a little research had some good CFM on them and uh, they work. So, um, with that being said, yeah, I'm content with that. So we got the fans out of the way. The next things. I got some relays on the way too. I ordered them off of eBay. I got re, uh, relays on the way. So I will be setting up um, a relay kit to actually run to these uh, fans or whatnot. So I'm going to make a video of that. As soon as the relays get in, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to try and speed this process up just a little bit. But I'm going to be careful about doing it. Um, so... You know, it's a whole lot of things I want to sit down and I want to show y'all. But when it gets to like me doing the soldering and all that, I'm going to cut a lot of that that stuff out and just go ahead and get the work done. I will show you what I soldered or how it is put together, basically schematic and everything. But um, I just want to cut it out so I can make the videos a little, you know, what I'm saying a little, little shorter anyway, but uh, give you as much detail as I, as I could. Um, on how to put this stuff together because my main thing is to show people that you know it doesn't take a whole lot of money to actually do these bills these ls bills or whatnot and it's really up to you how clean you want your ls bill to look so see somebody like me i would actually take these fans um spray them down with a little bit of degrees or whatnot and clean them up um after i clean them up i'll probably end up uh spraying it back all black you know, it um, really doesn't matter to me. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, just put too much time into it. But I do want it to look nice up under the hood with that being said. But, yeah, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying, though. Um, make these videos just a little bit shorter, man. And like I always tell y'all, man, push the like button, please. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Rich, 
I always try to bring y'all great content, you know what I'm saying? Uh, educate the people who uh, just, just sit around and they, they think that they got to run to somebody else and get it done. I want to show y'all that y'all can actually do it yourself, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to a lot of people, man. Shout out to uh, Steve Davis. Shout out to Mr. Get In There. Shout out to Sprayway. Um, shout out to uh, Chevy Rider. Uh, who else? <laughs> Shout out to MB Customs, um, man, 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 man. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of people I follow, man. They ain't just on engine bills. Um, shout out to my boy, uh, Six Snail. If y'all don't follow Six Snail, nasty old school Nova man. Shout out to Six Snail, uh, because when I was doing this whole engine bill, man, when I saw his bill from the start with like. Um, one of the things I could do is I could just, you know, I'd watch his videos and ask him a question and he'd be right back on a response to it like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing with uh, you YouTubers or whatnot, or us YouTubers, man, we, it's just like anything else, man. We have to stick together and, you know, I know that we uh, try to do this right here and some of us try to make a living out of it. You know, re mad respect for that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't asking for nothing. Um, but you know when it when when it comes to stuff like this right here in general if somebody hit me up cuz i've had people hit me up from all over from uh jacksonville florida to texas california wherever and asked me for all types of stuff from sunroofs and just anything and you know um if i can get it i'll get it and you know i i just play it straight up i let them know what the cause was and you know they actually yeah they'll they'll, they'll pay me the um little bit of labor or whatnot for actually being or going and cutting it or whatnot, cutting it out or whatever. And then they'll they'll take care of the shipping costs and all that other good stuff. Um Dirt Gang from Jacksonville just bought a wire and hornets, you know what I'm saying? He, he's super happy he was on IG or whatnot. But again, man, look, push the like button, push the subscribe button, hit the bell, and follow me on Instagram so you can stay up with the updates that I do have that I don't post on YouTube. So with that being said, your boy Rich Everything is Rich underscore everything with an A because Toot already walked off, so I take care of that for him. But y'all know how I always do it. I'm out. Hey, yo. Show y'all in some nasty quality because boom, 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 boom. Upgraded 4K. Matter of fact, 4k times two y'all see what i got going on right here man let me stop playing man i got these fans right here wired up y'all see how clean that right there look y'all see the video man don't y'all play with me man when it kind of music videos all this other stuff man this one i'm gonna stop busting y'all head in this 8k right here so quality don't get no better than this right here y'all see i got my little power box and what we got going on is i found some fans for the bill now do they work let's see do they work? I guess they do. Relays on the way. You already know your boy Rich gonna wire them things up. Ah, ah, ah.